welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in what a year it has been that's it the long-awaited year in review 2022 so thank you so much for being here i appreciate all the support and all the love for this channel um what a wild ride it's been as you'll witness in some of the clips ahead there's a lot to get into so let's get started now in this first one you have to understand the trucks take up a lot of room sometimes you need to make some maneuvers and you need to take up a little bit more than your fair share so after making a left underneath an overpass to immediately taking a right turn you'll see this very impatient driver do what a lot of drivers do check it out this guy. Thanks for giving me the room I need. Takes all kinds out here. Takes all kinds. And I'm taking up every inch of room, so that's why I was driving like that, people. Come on now. Yep, that's right. It takes all kinds out here. It takes all kinds. Just a little bit of patience, a little bit of consideration goes a long way out here, people. In this next clip, I make a friend. <laughs> I made a friend. I was unloading one day and uh, just kind of walking around, chitty chatting on the telephone. And I noticed something across the field. So I had to go check it out. Watch this. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> well, he's on the. He's on the other side of a fence. Oh, now he's pounced up looking at me. He's got some pretty good sized nails on him. Wouldn't he cool? She, it, we're pals now. We're, we're, we're like this. <laughs> they kind of freaked me out when it pounced up like that. I didn't know what it was about to do. I didn't know if I was gonna have to run or what. <laughs> Uh, good stuff. Out here on the road, you don't always have the opportunity to just pull over and eat. And when you do, it's not always the healthiest of options. So, you know, having the storage that I have in this truck, having the refrigerator, now I have a microwave, starting to utilize that stuff, trying to maintain my girlish figure. Um, you know, you carry some goodies with you, some snacks. And uh, in this next clip, just merely trying to show you all kind of what I do to try to maintain my health and still be able to eat when I can't get somewhere. Watch this. Somebody asked me the other day, what do truck drivers eat while on the road? You know, different kind of trail mixes and here, let's just go through it. It's easier to do it that way. like a cluster in the back of the truck it was I mean I just went grocery shopping so I had my oranges I had my bottle of, or my uh, my case of water you know bottled water so yeah it looks like a little bit of a cluster back there but that's what it looks like when you first move in for the week after a restart you know you got all your food and slowly diminishes over time you saw it right now and barren back there you know there's nothing left so anyway it's all part of it now this next one this next one's one of those that I, not many people probably would put in their video or on their channel. And it's a fail by me. And uh, it wasn't a major deal or anything, but I felt kind of stupid once I saw what happened. I was trying to get a shot on the trailer, just kind of maneuvering through the yard and happened to catch this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Even your boy can make mistakes too. It happens. Nobody's perfect. I try to keep a minimum to the minimum and minimal when they do happen for sure. But we're all human, easy fix. Had the shop take care of it, no problem. So good to, good as new. Now this one, this one freaked me out. Um Yeah. I'll just let you check it out and then we'll go into it. sketchy wasn't it so these trailers have a sensor in them to try to prevent rollovers They're trying to keep you upright so they'll lock the brakes up in order to try to try to keep your stability where it needs to be but it wasn't the case one of the latches had come loose through the turn and once it released that uh, that pin the plunger was able to extend which locks the trailer brakes up like when I'm unloading so Anyway, that's the safety of the Dixie Gate. <laughs> Keeping things interesting out here. I say a lot of words when I'm recording. They don't all make it on video. Sometimes I screw up my words. In this next clip, you'll just kind of see one of those moments where it, it's just kind of funny how I'm talking about, ah, I want to spoil it. Check it out. Had a good rest, so I'm I'm in good shapes mentally and good shapes. Ha! <laughs> See, I'm I, I will laugh at myself. I I am not afraid to poke fun at my own self. This next clip is one of those situations that honestly was a little bit more frustrating. a little bit of anger in me I don't know that I let it out on video as much as I, I was in shock it's a school bus doing some things that you shouldn't be doing in a school bus especially when there's passengers on the bus little kids you know I'm trying to think like I got school-age kids and if I found out that my bus driver was doing stuff like this with my kids on the bus Best believe we're gonna have some words with the school, including the bus driver if I get that opportunity. Again, a little bit of patience goes a long way out here, people. Just a little bit of patience. We were in line on a clover leaf on ramp to go from a two-lane state highway to a four-lane inter uh, not interstate but a turnpike. And just couldn't wait two more vehicles. That's all it was. The bus was right behind me. Watch this nonsense. Oh, what is that school bus doing? <laughs> what in the heck? Hope there's not kids in that thing. in the pike pass lane but he cut across that median there are kids on that bus they're like
it's standing up in the back. I can see right down the middle of it. Shenanigans. Man. What a circus. Shocking, isn't it? Absolutely freaking shocking what people will do with your children in a school bus. You know, I've thought about being a bus driver just for something to do. Of course, this gig right here won't allow that to happen, but you know, maybe when I get older or something, it might be something I'll consider. But never, not ever, would I pull a stunt like that person did. And to be honest with you, I know it had kids in it because he stopped at the railroad tracks and the first thing that caught my eye about it, he almost blew the tracks right by me. I had come from a refinery, turned down the highway where there's a set of railroad tracks. I stop in the right lane. He's on my left side getting ready to pass me. And only did he realize, oh wait, I'm supposed to stop here. Slammed on the brakes and threw the bus behind me. I accelerated off, he halfway stopped in the gas it, and uh, the rest is history. I used to flatbed for several years. Load securement is the top priority when you're flatbedding. Absolute number one, load securement. You'll see in this next clip what happens whenever you don't secure your load. Uh-oh. Oh boy, what's going on here? You lost your hay bale, Skeeter. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> you gotta strap those things down. They don't just stay. I know, I kind of poke fun at him. I know, I get it. But I, I gotta, gotta get my sense of humor from somewhere out here. All joking aside, I'm... I'm glad that it wasn't more serious than that, because that could have been bad. Again, load securement on a flatbed, top priority, number one. Now in this next one, remember when I said it takes all kinds? It also takes all kinds in the ingenuity portion of things. As you'll see in this next clip, the ingenuity that this person thought so that they could get their vehicle down the road. Watch this. This shouldn't be something that is a surprise when I wake up. Holy cow, little boys. Oh boy, what's going on here? What in the absolute nonsense is going on there? That old boy was driving his pickup with somebody sitting on the freaking engine, jacking with the carburetor to keep the truck moving. There was no hood on it. That old boy was sitting on the freaking engine you know you're in Oklahoma wind. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. It's pretty dangerous. And you're right. 100% that's dangerous. But you have to think. He's got some ingenuity there. He was in a bind. Had one person able to steer. Just needed something to keep that engine running. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. That was funny right there. That'll be one I remember for a long, long time. Patience, people. Patience. I'm starting to notice the theme here, right? Patience triumphs everything. Patience is directly correlated to your safety, your well-being, which is also correlating to your finances. It, it, patience goes, I mean, it, it just, I, I can't say it any more than that. Patience. And Deliver into a place, running down a four-lane divided, not highway, honestly, it was just a road. Uh, had to make a U-turn. That's how they do it in Texas. Had to make a U-turn to get back to where I needed to go. I waited until the traffic was clear. I was patient. Made my U-turn. Immediately put my right turn signal on using my trailer to block the right lane and my truck to block the left lane to make the right hand turn. And the moment I started to make the right hand turn, watch. I'm gonna go after this silver car. Don't hit the 
sign. Curb. These people are going to be upset behind me, but I don't care. Dumb. Watch my turn signals. We're getting in such a big, fat, freaking hurry. Son of a gun almost drove right under the side of my trailer. Thankfully, we weren't going real fast, and they were obviously able to stop. Again, could have been a bad situation. Could have driven right underneath my trailer. I don't know if I wouldn't have honked if they would have actually seen it until it was too late. Um, I have two turn signals, one on the rear of the trailer and one on the side of the trailer. I can't do any more than that. So, anyway. Now, in this last one was actually that very same property where I was having to make a right turn to get over to my tank where I needed to unload. And, uh, I don't know if I got a little overzealous or just, I wouldn't say impatient. I know, I know everybody's like, ah, I'm patient. No, I, I thought I was at the correct turn, but I wasn't. Climb this little hill. Take a ride at the tree. Tank will be straight ahead. make this. This ain't it. Derp. I gotta keep going straight. I almost screwed that up. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw that little sign right there. This one up here says transport. That's where I need to be. I was about to say there's no way I'm making that turn. Come on. Limbs and my stacks. That's cool. Yeah, see, again, I'll show that I make mistakes. Derp, a little bit ahead. The one the turn where the sign says transport turn here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the year in review for 2022. I've already got clips rolling for 2023. I hope you all have a wonderful year. Thank you so much for being here. Really, again, I appreciate all the support. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below. What was your favorite clip? What was the one that shocked you the most, that made you laugh the most, all of that? I appreciate you being here. Until next time, keep it between the mayonnaise and the mustard. Y'all take care.